Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to display images on your Access Forms and Reports without actually having to store those images in your database. When you store picture files inside of database fields, your database can get very, very big very, very fast. And of course, a big database becomes a slow database, especially if you're using it across a network. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to store just the file name of an image in your database and then have access automatically display that picture using an image control. We're going to start by designing a very simple table. I've got employee ID, my auto number, first name, last name, and an employee picture field. Now this is just a standard text field that we're going to store the file name and path to the employee's picture. Now go ahead and put some first names and last names in the table. And for the employee picture field, we're going to put in the file name with the complete path to the pictures that we want to represent each employee. Now I created a folder on my desktop and I threw some random pictures in it. Here you can find the complete path to the folder right there, C colon backslash users, Richard, desktop, pictures. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard with control C. And I just named each one of these pictures after the employee, Bill, Joe, Mark, and so on. So come back to your table, paste in that full path name, and then it's backslash Joe dot JPEG for this one. Continue on for each of the employees. This one is Mark. And you can put whatever file names you want in here. And finally, Bill. In my full access imaging seminar, I actually show you how to make a button on a form that you can click it and then browse to pick a specific file. And it will save the file name in your table. But for now, we can just do it manually. Now close the table. And let's create a form based on that table. So I'll click on my employee T, hit create, and then form. Access throws together a quick form based on that table. It brings an employee picture as a text box. I'll just take a second and resize some of these boxes to save space on the form. Now I'm going to switch over to design view because I prefer working in design view when I'm making changes to my forms. Let's go up to the design tab, open up the toolbox here, and find the image control. Click on that, and then click somewhere down here inside the details section. Now when you do that, the insert picture dialog box appears because Access wants you to pick a picture to add to this form. I'm just going to hit cancel. What you're left with now is an empty image container sitting right here. And you can resize this or move it around or do whatever you want with it. But I'm going to double click on it to open up its properties. There's the property sheet. The name is image 25. That's fine. You can leave it that or change it if you want to. Come over here and click on the data tab. Now this is new in Access 2007. If you have Access 2003 or earlier, this won't work. Although I do show you a technique that will work in my full access imaging seminar. But this only works with 2007, 2010, and later. In this control source property, you can put the name of a field that includes a file name to display in this picture control. So drop this down, pick the employee picture, and you've just set that as the control source for this image. Close the properties. I'm going to save the form. We can call this my employee F. Hit OK. Now I'm going to close the form and then reopen it. Here it is over here, double click. And there's my form. And you can see there's my picture. And notice now as I move through the records, you can see the picture changes. That's because this image control is bound to whatever file name is in here. And if you want to change this, all you have to do is come in here and type in joe.jpg and it will update for you. I'll hit escape and put it back. This technique also works even if you have continuous forms. So if I open up the form properties and change this to continuous forms, 
you'll see that it works even if we have scrolling continuous forms. See? I can scroll up and down and see all the different pictures. This is great for a product catalog. This technique also works just the same with reports. Do the same thing. Drop an image control on your report and bind it to a text field. Now in my full access imaging seminar, I show you lots of additional techniques for working with attachments and images and all kinds of different objects inside of access databases. We talk about bound OLE objects where you can actually embed pictures in here, double click on them and edit them. We learn a different technique for displaying images based on a file name. I show you how to create a button where you can click on a button. A dialog box opens up where you can pick a different picture and then that picture is automatically inserted into the form. Plus I show you how to make your VB code copy that image to a shared images folder on your network server. I show you how to display images in your access database based on a web browser control. So as you can see here, this is coming right off my website. You can move through different pictures that way. That's a web browser control right there. We work with the new attachment data type. Here you can see this one record has four attachments on it. You can browse through them using these buttons here. That's one record with four different attachments. Here's the next record with one attachment. And attachments can be anything, not necessarily just pictures. If I double click here, you'll see all the different attachments. There's a text file. So I hope this helps to show you how to display images on your forms and reports in Microsoft Access. Again, for much more information on my full access imaging seminar, visit the link on your screen or below the window or visit my website, accesslearningzone.com, and look for the Access Imaging Seminar.